did you read this on the front page of the Times, right? Two years to save the world, says AI advisor, right? So pin back your luggles, gang, right? It says here that AI systems will be powerful enough to kill many humans within two years. Rishi Sunak's advisor on artificial intelligence has predicted. So can you, can you just say that again? <laughs> It's a, it's, it's a lot to compute. It's in the front yeah. place. Look, look. Yeah, go on, was it? Two yeah, years. Oh, if you watch it on YouTube right? or, or Facebook. Two years to save the world. Two years to save the world, says AI advisor. Sunak's expert I'm take warns my pension, of then. Huh? a bioweapon and cyber attack threats. So basically, AI is going to become so intelligent, so cute and smart and clever, they'll be doing, they'll be doing this, t- this radio show. They'll be playing football. I am Jason Cundy, and this is the Sports Bar. <laughs> <laughs> How did you do that? Oh, I, do you know what? How I, did you do that? Oh, my God. Yeah. Does, so, she want, does she want to take the next call? Can we... Oh, not even she. I mean, it's, it's artificial intelligence, so it doesn't have a sex, I'm guessing. Oh, there we are. They're, they're messing about in there now. They're going to have some fun with this. Shall we just go to the lines? Because it is, it is their show, really. Let's go, let's go and speak to uh, Tom, who's the first caller of the evening. All right, Tom. Hi, Tom. Evening, gents. How's it going? I'm, I'm all right, Good. Tom. Are you worried about AI, Tom? That it says they're taking over the world and it will it will have the uh, intelligence to kill many humans in about two years. Front page story of the Times. Potentially, I I work in um, sort of in tech. I recruit into tech, so I've, I've had all sorts of conversations around this. Mm. Um, I don't think it's going to go that far. Let's be fair. No, you're never going to totally replace human beings, are you? But um, yeah, we we you're not we convinced. should see. Hey, they have a BT, no. haven't they? Didn't they just sack about 30,000 people? I don't know. Yeah, all, all the big tech companies are making layoffs, yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah. You seem to know you're talking about, It's getting that way, isn't it? Yeah. Do you, you want West Ham sport? to win, Tom? To <laughs> <laughs> do, do, do it again, go on. Do you want West Ham to win, Tom? Uh, yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> it's happening now. It's happening yeah. two, two years, it's happening in two minutes. He talks more sense than O'Hara, though, doesn't he? I'll tell you that. <laughs> Come in. There's going to be a radio show d- done in about two years. It's going to be done by artificial intelligence. Love it. Love it. Go on in, Tom. What do you want to say? Yeah, no. So just on the on the point of, I mean, you, you mentioned a couple of things. Do I care? I mean, not particularly. I'm not really going to lose sleep either way mm. being a Palace fan. Mm. Um, but uh, look, I mean, yeah, I, I would like to see West Ham win it. And for a couple of reasons, I've got a big issue with clubs that don't stick with managers when times are tough, right? And we've seen plenty of that in the last couple of years. Um, you know, a lot of, to be fair, a lot of West Ham fans were calling for Moyes' heads they when were. they were struggling. But you've got, you've got to look at it and think, right, this is the third season they've been in Europe, which is unbelievable, really, for, for West Ham. Um, and they've taken it seriously. Um, we've seen an example of a club, you know, who should have done better in this competition in Tottenham that, that, didn't take it perhaps as seriously and, and, and got knocked out. Um, and they're in a final. And, you know, if I, I put myself in their position, um, we finished, you know, pretty sure we finished above West Ham in the end. And I, I'd, what I'd give to be in their position of, of winning a European trophy, yep. um, I would like to see him win it, yeah. Okay. And, and Forrest stuck with Steve Cooper, didn't they? He was on the brink. When they yeah, gave him a yeah, new I'd, contract, I'd... he's kept him up. Yeah, and then, but, and then but, you look but, at the... But, Tom, you're a Crystal Palace <laughs> Fan, and you know, you, you saw where you had under Vieira. I mean, what, why, why? Stick- well, listen, I, I mean, I, I was on with you guys, and I, I didn't think that was the right move. It's a difficult one now to justify, given the impact Roy made. You know, mm, mm. Um, but um, you know, Arsenal with Arteta is another example. I, I just think the the game these days, it's like it's when times are tough. You know, it's we've got to look for a new manager, and I, I think you know they deserve credit for. To getting where they've got to, and you know, they're playing against an Italian side. I, yeah. you know, I can't, do you know what I mean? I can't, as an Englishman, I can't really back a, oh, really? an Italian oh, side. I find that quite easy, actually. Do you know what it is, Tom? It's like it's all down to money. But so you look at Sam Allardyce, yeah. that leads the sheer mm. panic running through the yeah, boardroom. Crazy, that. We're crazy. going to get relegated, we're going to get relegated. What can we do? What can we Let's sack the manager and up Sam Allardyce can get a result yeah. out of four games or a couple of results. Mm. And it's just what Sam's supposed to do in four games. Like, you know... The- yeah, I, I mean, it's like a, you look over the years, Wenger came in and it, it didn't happen. I mean, Sir Alex is the best example. It didn't happen straight away. I, I just think 
I think the game's lost something in that sense. And, you know, it's going off tangent a little bit here, but I don't think any clubs, Chelsea, Spurs, you're not going to get anywhere. You know, Spurs have got this new manager in, but in my opinion, they've got to say to him, they've got to give him a few seasons and accept they're not going to win anything. They've got to give him the money and, and the Harry Kane things are a part of it. But, um, you know, football owners, chairmen, fans, they want everything now and, it just doesn't work like that. What so, about Graham um, Potter, Tom? The the long term project Graham Potter was supposed to have, and I said at the time, yeah. you lose six games, you're out. Yeah. Well, they shouldn't have got rid of Tuchel. That was the the big error. You know, they've gone from Tuchel to a a, a worse manager in Potter to an even worse <laughs> manager in Lampard. But um, uh, yeah, it's it, um, you know, so that's my main sort of thought process. I think good luck to them. They're taking it seriously. Mm. You know, I've heard Chelsea fans, not a dig at Chelsea, but I've heard Chelsea fans having a pop at West Ham saying, you know, it's the Audi Cup final or whatever. But it's a cup final. It's 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 a day out for the fans. It's it's one more than Chelsea have been in this season. Again, not not having an attack on Chelsea, Sunday before you start. That's fine. Fair enough. That. No, um, I li- I'm always bitter. It doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, yeah. I, I wouldn't, you know, I don't want City to win. On, on you know, We've won it twice, but the Champions League, yeah. I don't want City winning it. it it's done it. You're right. joking. No, yeah. no chance. You don't want Man City to win the treble. No. You wouldn't like... like no. What no. don't you like about them? No, it's not that, because they're not my... It's not because I don't like them, it's just because they're not... I don't want them to, to win it. It's quite... I, I don't... I can't understand how you can't understand it. So why do you prefer the Inter Milan to win it than Man City, then? You've got a back... You, you've got a back English side, especially in a big final. You why? Know. why? I don't get this. I don't get this. So why, why are you supporting Inter Milan, then? Because I don't they're want Man City team. to win it. No, they're not. But no, I'm not supporting them. I don't want City to win it. It could be Bayern Munich. It could be anyone in England. Anyone in England. To, no, you want any, to win no, it? no, no one. Liverpool, West Ham, Villa, Spurs, Arsenal. Anyone. Oh. Yeah, Southampton. You've you got to think though. It's, it's, it, it, it has a positive <laughs> effect on. It has a yeah. positive effect on the English game if our clubs do well in Europe, whatever exactly. level. Exactly. Well, I don't, well I, you know, again, I don't agree with that. Why is it? It's I only. Know, gonna, it's only. Gonna, you're kind of saying like anyone. You know, if it ain't Chelsea, you're not interested. That's completely right? it. Completely it. Yeah. Well, I'm never going to talk you around on that, am I? No, no, you, no it's fine. I don't, you know, but I, yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah. I don't expect support of anyone else or want anyone else to want Chelsea to win. How, here's you, a question: How many West Ham fans wanted Chelsea to win the Champions League? Do you reckon? Yeah. Right? There'd be some. There is right? no, no, no. You made about West Ham haven't won anything. Which it, I do agree with that. Um, they oh, kind so, of. I think so, a lot of fans kind of see it as. They're not a threat to it. To, right. to other clubs in England, so right. you know. It's not Have you got the quilt over your head? Yeah, something's actually your voice there. I think Tom's. Wait, wait. Tom, let's appreciate the call. Cheers, bud. Cheers, nice, matey. Bud. Cheers, Tom. Keep the calls coming. Oh three seven one seven double two double three double four. I've been I've been quite consistent uh, like this. I do not want anyone. Good call. Else. That was from Tom. It's a great call. It's a great call. Yeah. yeah. You've been consistent, or I've heard you say it before. I I can't. I I've got no. I want West Ham's. Players that we watch every week to lift the cup up. Before, I want Frontinas players. Okay, all right. I've got no. I don't know any of them. Well, I know Amara and a couple of the others, but the Sports Bar with Jamie O'Hara and Jason Cundy, Monday to Thursday nights from ten on AM on DAB via the Talksport app and on your smart speaker. Talksport.